guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early. 6 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I'm running late today. I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. I, I got caught up. As you know, usually I get up at 2 a.m. I started, the story I wanted to do today that I picked was the rolling blackouts in Texas. And a lot of the information I was getting was uh, the term uh, frozen wind turbines kept popping up. And that caught my attention. You know, some of the reasoning, you know, we're talking about Texas. Now, I know it's cold down there. I know this is a cold snap, but... I started to think that there's wind turbines in much colder places. And there's there has to be more to this. You know, there's wind turbines in Amsterdam, Norway, Northern Europe, uh, north, way up uh, in North Dakota, Minnesota. And I started thinking about this. So I, the more I looked into it, there'll be, there'll be links down below. And I found out that there's cold weather packages that come, you can buy in addition to keep them from freezing up. Um... And then it became apparent that the, the Republican-leaning Texans, you know, with, along with their attitude of pull yourself up by our bootstraps, you know, we'll just tough it out. Kind of like with the masks. Uh, we'll just get the COVID. It's not much worse than the flu. We don't need to wear masks and uh, we'll get herd immunity. That kind of thinking, it, it would seem they, uh, they didn't opt for the cold weather packages on the wind turbines. And along with the idea the Republicans don't want to spend any tax money, any don't want to spend any money on uh, any tax money and uh, so they didn't opt for these cold weather packages um i started to read on the whole energy producing situation in texas and it was confusing um you can opt for different it's it's kind of like different credit cards with different uh rates People switch from one energy company to another to another going with the cheapest energy. Uh, you can pay a base rate and then pay as energy goes up, you pay more. And this is a whole different system than we have up here. It's almost like a stock market system. Or I didn't, I didn't, to be honest with you guys, I didn't even understand it. Uh, that along with not opting for the, the uh, packages on, on these, these wind turbines. And then I started reading too that only 20 to 25% of, of Texas's energy comes from green energy, from wind turbines. So I started thinking if only 20 to 25% of their energy is coming from wind turbines, along with the fact that they didn't opt for the cold weather packages, how come this is causing so much misery in Texas? Um, so this, I, I, I had a hard time finding the answer for this. So I'm looking through all different articles, like I said, and trying to make sense of this. I, I see these, these scare articles about, you know, wind turbines freezing up and solar panels being useless when they get snow on them. Now there's, there are snow panels all over this street, all over this town. And I'm thinking that can't be right. We got, we got two feet of snow out there on the ground right now. And I know for a fact that snow quickly, even if it's minus 10, solar panels, these roofs lose their snow quickly in the winter. The snow slides off and melts off quickly. So I started reading into that. And again, the links are down below. And this is more scare tactics. Because I started reading up on solar panels and this whole they're all designed to, to keep, to build up energy from the summer and save it for the winter and different types of batteries and all this stuff. So basically, it's like I thought. This it's a lot of scare tactics. It's a lot of scare talk about you know. So I get to I get to Tucker Carlson, and the title of his article is something about well, what what's happening in Texas is coming to all of America. You know, you're all headed for this with Joe Biden and his his green energy. We're all doomed. We're all going to freeze in our homes. So I have to read this, okay? And let me tell. This is where the, the this is the gist of my video right here. What I found Tucker Carlson talking about. Well, I'll tell you what he didn't talk about. Again, the, the, the article will be down below in the link. He didn't even mention, I don't think he even mentioned climate change at all. Just ignored that whole topic. He talked a lot about uh, John Kerry's jet. And how much, this is a favorite topic, topic of his. Uh, he, he seems to be blaming all of Texas's woes on John Kerry's private jet and the exhaust that it admit, uh, emits. Um, okay, so then 
I have to keep reading this because uh, Tucker, again, this article is just, then he starts talking about coding, coding, like from computers. And he starts talking about how that green energy is similar to the co when coding came around, that people can just switch jobs. People that worked on transmissions can then start coding. This is, read the article, this is what he's saying. And then he says about how those jobs were just sent to China. And then we ended up just bringing Chinese people here to do the coding. Again, this, uh, the article will be down below. You could, I'm paraphrasing here, but this is what he said. Okay, and it, it, it gets even more bizarre. Uh, he starts talking about our, our city parks. Now, this article is about what Texas freezing and the rest of the country suffering the same results. You know, this, this scare thing that there's going to be frozen. We're going to be frozen all across North America because of Joe Biden. And he starts talking about our city parks, that our city parks are filled with vagrants and the statues that aren't torn down because of political correctness have graffiti covered all over them and that there's drug addicts in the parks and it's nothing like it was back in 19, the 1950s. He actually says this. He's talking about how beautiful the parks were. Now, I'm pretty sure Tucker Carlson is younger than me and I was born in 66, so I don't know how Tucker Carlson is imagining I uh, maybe he's watching Father Knows Best and he's assuming, you know, this the, all of America was this idyllic uh Father Knows Best Father Knows Best land, I don't know. So yeah, he's actually talking about this in, in this article. Um he goes on to talk about China and coding and parks and and all this and John Kerry's jet and never once mentions mentions climate change. You know, uh, again, when it comes to climate change and Republicans, uh, anytime that it's it's not extremely hot, they use that as, as evidence that their climate change is, is fake. You know, and they want they want it to get warm out anyway. They 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 can't seem to grasp the idea of changing weather patterns, meaning extreme cold and extreme warmth in changing weather patterns because of the greenhouse gases. This, for some reason, Republicans and this, this line of thought, it escapes them. So then I, I finally came to the conclusion. I started thinking about this. And just recently, in yesterday's video, I talked about how just a couple weeks ago, Texans were talking about becoming their own country. They didn't want to pay taxes no more. They didn't want government interference. And now all of a sudden they're, they're begging for FEMA, literally begging for FEMA to declare uh, uh, an emergency and getting assistance from FEMA, which Joe Biden has done. Um, and I think back to Donald Trump tossing out those paper towels in Puerto Rico and basically his whole attitude towards any blue state, any blue state just... Didn't even get acknowledgement during Donald Trump's presidency. You know, red states got all the, you know, if they voted for him, if they were pro-Trump, they got all the attention. They got uh, all the help from the government they needed. But if you're a blue state, well, you didn't like Donald Trump and you're not, you know, you gotta, you're going to have a hard time getting any, assi any assistance from Donald Trump's government. And I thought about that. And uh, I think Texans should just be thankful that Joe Biden isn't like Donald Trump. Otherwise, he would be down, he'd, he'd make a quick stop down in Texas, maybe throw out some, some warm blankets to the Texans, hop back on his jet, go back to Washington, if he was anything like Donald Trump was. So, the, the links will all be down below. Uh, if you're looking for any actual information in Tucker Carlson's, uh, in, in his rambling diatribe about town town city parks and John Kerry's jet and how all of America is going to freeze like Texas. Uh, you're not going to find much information, but the links will be down below. I hope you guys sincerely, I hope the people, I wish the people of Texas well. I don't mean to belittle their, their situation whatsoever. Being cold sucks. Living in New England, I know that. I wish them the best. And uh, you guys have a great Tuesday.